Good afternoon, Lawn Dogs. Um, I have this Dixie Chopper. It's a Z2. It's basically a, a homeowner's edition uh, Hydro. I like it. I think it was like 4500 bucks. It works really good. It gets the job done. It mows great. If you keep up with the maintenance, you'll have a, a good running mower. Recently, I've started to notice that when I mow the lawn on not fairly thick grass, but you know, more or less kind of sort of thick grass, the blades will slow down. I'm like, well, that's odd. It shouldn't be doing that. Uh, so I'm, and I'm looking at the at the there's a gauge where it says uh, how fast your engine is going and it's just above 3000 something so that's pretty much the normal so my only guess was to change the belt and even though I already changed the belt I'm gonna show a lot of you guys that have the Z2 don't know how to do it you guys are uh, on YouTube asking me how do you do this and how do you do that and one of the questions was this is the old belt. I keep it as a replacement in case uh, the new belt busts or breaks for some reason. So in order, so if it does break, I have this back up here, you know, so I can finish my day before I, uh, uh, so I can finish the day and, and more, mow more lawn. Yeah, bro? Um, later, um, after my homework, can I go to Walmart? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, so get ready so we can go. After I do this, we'll, we'll go. But do your homework and clean up a little bit, okay? Mm -hmm. Give me a and then you can give me a dollar. All right. A dollar. Uh, so what I do is, if the new belt does break, I have this backup to get me through the day before I get another one. I bought the new belt at uh, the local dealer where I bought the Dixie Chopper. It was $40. $42 and change with taxes. Uh, I love you guys. Well, Mario, what kind of oil do you put in your hydro and in your motor? And this is what I use. I use the Kohler SAE 10W30 Universal Engine Oil. I bought Kohler because it says Kohler and the engine is Kohler. But you can use any brand, really. I'm not, I don't care about brands as long as it's the right number. But that's my engine right here. And I want to show you guys how to change the belt on a Z2 Dixie Chopper. So I, don't have, I had to put oil in my uh, tank because it was kind of low. So now I'm topped off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the seat. The only, okay, since the new belt is on, since it's on, it's going to be kind of tight. But most of the times, when you have an old belt on, you can just basically take it off the the pulleys without having to adjust anything because it's because the 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 belt is stretched. But in this case, since this belt is new, I'm gonna have a little trouble. So let me start filming. The only tool you really need here is this 916, and I'm gonna show you where uh, you put it to. So see, where can I set this camera up? Let's see, I'm gonna need something this will do. Okay. Let me turn the S around. Let's turn that around. Oh, I guess I can't turn around, dang it. All right, so I'll just turn this around. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see okay there. See? Let me see. Let me see if you guys can see. Yeah, it looks like you guys can see. Well, right here. See this spring? This spring is about six inches long. It basically is the tensioner. It, it, it provides tension to the belt. So you can have a, a good tight belt you can cut real good. Um, there's a couple of ways uh, that you could uh, loosen the tension on that. One of them, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I found it. Let me take this 
also one of them. See this doohickey here? I don't know what you call it. I'm not much of a mechanic, but it's not big enough. But you need a. It looks like you would need like a a half a half. It's a square, a little bit bigger than this one. And what you do is you take it and you twist it to the to the left or to the right, so you can release the tension. Okay, but. If you don't have the right tool, I'm going to show you a trick. Most people don't know how to do. Most people will never know how to do. This is something that, you know, you know, your mind just thinks of. But the first thing we want to do is this. We this, this is a belt guide. See how the belt runs through here? And it keeps the belt from popping off. So even if you were to take this off with your hand, even though I can't do it because it's so tight, in order to loosen it, you have to turn this to the left, all the way to the left. You see how it starts to wiggle? It's starting to get wiggle. That way, when when you're uh, when it gives you enough space, it wiggles enough to where you can get the belt and scooch it on over. Because even if I were to take the belt off all the way over, unless this one's really open and really loose. You're not going to get the belt out of here. So let's uh, loosen this up. It looks like I have a good opening. Let's, let's get another turn. A couple more. Alright, here we go. I think we got that good enough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... over here a loose piece let me set down my nice 16 I don't know if you can see it see. I have this spring here that's keeping the belt tight that's why there's no wiggle room because it's new I need to take off this spring, but a lot of you will take a hammer and just bang, bang, and hit the, the spring to unhook it off the base where the, uh, the deck is. Now, that does work, but the problem is when you do that, there's a possibility that you will break this hook. And if you break this hook, you're going to have to go buy another pulley. Or another tension, another uh, spring tensioner, because once it's broken, you can't hook it back on it again. So the safest way to do that is you take weed eater string, see, like so, and you hook it inside, and it'll fit, and it'll go. And once it's hooked. The next thing you want to do is take it out and see how it comes off easily. You see there? Now I'm going to leave the weed eater string with the hook right where it's at because I'm going to need to use it again to hook it on. So now that I have the, the belt off or the tensioner off, it's going to come off easily. And it, let me see, this guy is, you see? Okay, now that. Because I've loosened this, I'm able to take the belt off from the guy. So, once it's off, let's see it. once it's off, you're done. Now, let me see. Here's a side note, guys. I know, I know how to put on the belt. I know where it loops through, what pulleys it goes around, all that. I already know that. Uh, somewhere around here, I don't know if you see it, there's a guide that tells you where the belt goes. Let me uh, clean it up a little bit. But it's like right there. 
and that'll tell you that'll tell you uh, that's your guide of where 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 the belts are gonna go there's two belts on here one for the blades that goes to the engine and the other one are for the pumps that goes to the engine that's a shorter belt now it wouldn't hurt if you get your cell phone uh, in case your mower is uh, old and used and the guide has been completely erased d due to time uh, you want to take a picture with your cell phone before you do any work that way you can always use that as a reference uh, to put on your belt uh, so this is what I did I took the 9 and I twisted it to the left until it was loose enough to where the guide comes off not off but to the left loose enough to where the belt pops off and then I took the weed eater string and I was able to let me see if I can do it with one hand because it's kind of tight well the belt's not on but I used the weed eater string and I pull just to get it hooked on there let me uh you, you loop it through there and then you pull you see how you hook it on like that now when you hook it on you're not going to be able to take out the weed eater string because it's going to be super tight so what you do is you take a scissor and you cut off as close to the hook as possible and you'll leave that little tiny piece there it's not going to hurt the mower and once you change the belt again that little piece will come off because you're going to have to uh do this process all over again so you take the weeder string and you pull it and out it comes okay let's put the weeder string away we're gonna we're gonna need it later so now this is loose my hook is off um there is no that i know of a way that you can tighten the belt um that i know of i mean once the belt is loose i recommend just buying a new one they're only 40 bucks yes 40 bucks is a lot of money but uh, if it's that loose then it's about to bust it's probably cracked so you don't want to uh, tighten it and force it even more because it may just pop in the middle of a job so it's always best to leave a good belt intact because if your new belt breaks for some reason you still have the old one to use to finish the job so let me put this guy back we're gonna put the belt on this gets a little tricky let's see here this gets a little tricky because now I gotta put the belt back the first thing you want to do is you want to hook the very back. Now, as you're putting it in place and you hook the back, the one that goes to the engine, there's a possibility that as you're adjusting the belt to where the pulleys are, it's going to fall off. So you want to put everything towards the back first. Bring this guy. Now, you have the two pumps that are here, and then you have this crossbar that keeps the pumps from moving. You don't want to go over, I mean, excuse me, you don't want to go under that crossbar because then if you go under it, it's going to touch the crossbar here and it'll rub. So what you want to do is you want to go over it. And then once it's over, come on. once it's over, you can just put it on. That way, when you tighten it, it shoots straight to the uh, to the pulley. So let's leave that there. That's this. all right. I need to come up with something that if I don't have a partner, it'll just stay right here. I wonder what I could invent. But for now, let's just leave it like this. You know what would work? Let me get a piece of tape. That'll work. So, what 
what I'm gonna do, uh, I got this uh, heavy duty duct tape. I got this heavy duty duct tape and I'm gonna tape it, you know, small pieces, three sides. And I'm doing this so the belt doesn't fall off the the, uh, the pulley as I adjust it. So we'll leave that one there. Maybe you only need two. Maybe you only need one. But let's just put two just in case, you know. Just enough to go over both sides. Just like that. And we're good. Alright, that'll do. Well, hopefully it'll work. So, now that that's done, it's time to adjust the, uh, the belt so this goes inside outside give and take this gets cut I hope oh there we go it gets caught on screws there we go now I can adjust it just fine okay now I can adjust it to go inside this pulley here hello there we go inside here then I gotta go outside to the one over here then I gotta go inside, back out to this one. This one stays in. And then I finish it here. Now I gotta check what the problem is because it's still kind of loose. So I'm thinking. Oh no, the reason why it's loose is because I have to tension it. There we go. So that's that. So this is where. You have to make sure okay, that there, flat over, okay. Okay, we're good. We're good here. Tension a little bit. Alright. We're good. So let me show you guys what we got going on. Okay. This is how it should look like. Now I still have to hook that there. I still gotta tighten this so it doesn't pop off. Uh, so let's do that. Where's my 916? There it is. So what I'm gonna do. As I twist, it gets tighter. That way, when the bell turns on and there's any give to it, we're able to, you know, the belt doesn't pop up. And it doesn't pop out. This little guy will keep it in place. So now that it's in place, not too tight, guys, because you don't want to strip it. Okay, now let's do the hard part. We're going to... Hopefully you can see it. We're going to take this weed eater line. Hook it to the hook. 
because I don't have the tool that I need. And then we're going to hook it to that base, to this thing here, where it belongs. It's a nice little tug. Another thing, good thing that'll help you. If you can't get it hooked all the way, because there's a groove it has to sit in, you want to lightly, gently tap it with a hammer. There we go. Now, it fell into place. And I, t I can't take this weed either line out because it's, that's how tight it is. So, where are my scissors? I bought these uh, scissors, they're heavy duty scissors at Home Depot. They're like six bucks. So you want to get as close to the base as possible to just give it a good cut and you're golden. Now it's back tight again. So tight. Now I'm going to go take the tape off. So when I turn on the mower, I'm going to take the camera and show you guys what it would look like. If I didn't put that tape, it would have been a, it would have been a back and forth struggle to because that belt would go on and off whoops okay you see the tape I put just enough and that tape is good just enough so the belt can stay on and on the other side too two pieces was enough I believe one piece back here would have been enough but Two is always better. As you can see, the belt is on property, 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 properly. It goes straight to the, uh, to all the uh, spindles, back to the engine. Just like that. Now, we're gonna turn it on. And we're gonna test it to see how that is. I'm gonna put on my safety glasses because I'm going to test it. I'm going to make sure the tool, all tools are gone that I needed. Yeah. Looks like everything's clear. I'm going to take these out of here. This block is what I popped the camera on. So let's see how we did. Now, I am going to turn on the, the blades. So I have to be careful not to, all right, here we go, here we go. And you never want to turn on the blades when you have full speed idle because you might pop it. Okay, my emergency brakes on, let's go for it. Let's choke it. All right, here we go. There was no, oh, I need to turn it. Everything sounded normal. There was no clinging, meaning the belt was on correctly. If it was not on correctly, you would feel a lot of vibration. Chances are the belt would have snapped. It would have popped. So sorry it took so long to do it. It was difficult, you know, having to deal with the camera and everything else. But usually a job like this on a normal will only take you 10 minutes. If you know what you're doing and, and you've done it a few times. On your first try, it might take you 15, 20 minutes. But uh, that's just basically how it's done, guys. Um, thank you for watching. watching. I appreciate it. Uh, this is basically my setup. All echo, everything echo. I got my Snapper Pro, walk behind, echo chainsaw, echo blowers, 
I got my gas can, my air pump, and of course my Dixie Chopper Z2 Homeowner's Edition. I bought the Homeowner's Edition because it was way cheaper than the Pro Grade, but it does just as good. Okay, so don't don't have the salesman convince you that, oh, it sucks, you need to pay more. I do just fine with, the, with this thing. You know, I move 10 lots a day with it. Everything is good. But anyway, that's it, Lawn Dogs. Have a good one. Thanks again. I appreciate all of you. Bye-bye.